I was diagnosed with breast cancer five years ago and uh, I found it through a mammogram and uh, I'm a big advocate for annual mammograms so if I can get that message out through here that's great too. Um, I, uh, I was very aggressive with my treatment and uh, I had a mastectomy followed by chemotherapy. So after my, my surgery I, um, I had very limited mobility which no one had ever discussed with me. I, I could not raise my arms up above about chest height and I uh, was very frustrated by that. I'm a very active person. I couldn't even reach up and grab a hanger on the upper bar in my closet and immediately I called Suzanne here uh, in the East Liberty uh, Allegheny and Chesapeake and I came in to see her from the very beginning and she worked with me twice a week. I mean, she worked on my scars, she worked on my mobility, she worked on everything you can think of. It, it's been unbelievable. I mean, I, I joked years ago that I was like the six million dollar woman, better, stronger, faster. I don't know if anyone's old enough to remember that, but um, when I came here, um, after my surgery, I was obviously weakened, and I had never worked out really prior to that. I was always sort of genetically blessed in that I was always thin and um, healthy. I was the healthiest person to ever have cancer, I used to tell people. But I was always thin and, and ate well, and you know, I, I never really needed to exercise. And at that point, I got here, I was very compromised after surgery, and then I had chemo, and I was just sort of worn out. And I started physical therapy with Suzanne. I can't remember exactly in that sequence of events when that happened, but um, she started out with me slowly, and I was very diligent with whatever she told me to do. Um, I remember we used to buy vitamin E tablets and open them up and rub the oil into my incisions. I mean, everything was done meticulously and religiously. And I followed every letter of what she said to do. And, and you know, she was really strict with me. I remember going on vacation and she said, you need to continue your physical therapy while you're away. And I found a gym in Florida and I went there twice while I was there that week. And I had them stretch me and do the things that she was doing with me. I don't remember them ever mentioning physical therapy in any shape or form. They talked to me about uh, taking care of my incisions and you know you have drains after surgery and cleaning those and getting that checked but um, you know they're concerned about infection and things of that sort. There was no discussion about you know mobility and those issues and I had friends outside the medical field tell me to make sure to take care of that issue. And I have since passed that wisdom on to other women that are getting the same surgery, that they need to take care of that. Um, so thank goodness my friends led me to Allegheny and Chesapeake and to Suzanne, who apparently had a lot of knowledge and past experience with women in my situation. We know that there is a bridged gap between the treatment of cancer and the, the wellness part of their recovery. And we know now that there's so many more treatments to cure the cancer. And these are, they're surviving cancer and patients are living longer. But they need us to bridge the gap on telling them, you know, when can you start exercising? How much weight can you lift? When can you return back to your, your activity levels? Your, I mean, from simple things to complex exercise. People are not getting the, the smooth transition of communication from healthcare to healthcare provider. Quite honestly, I had never had physical therapy before. I never even, it wasn't really even on my radar screen. I, I think actually prior to my surgery, someone may have mentioned it to me, so I was sort of thinking about it, but had an outside friend not mentioned it to me, I may have not known what to do. I am better than ever so Suzanne was nice enough to work with me to a certain point and then she sort of handed me off to David and I've been working out with David for years now and um, I'm better than ever about three two to three years ago um, I went on a, a week-long really long bike trip I like like one day like 50 some miles which for me was a ton I had never done anything like that before it was sort of a personal goal that I had set. My friends challenged me during my chemo to train for this. 
And so between Suzanne and David, I was just in amazing shape. I, I mean, the first thing is to always get a mammogram. An annual mammogram is so important. Be diligent with your, with your health care. Be your own advocate. Don't be intimidated by doctors. Ask questions. Demand information. Get multiple opinions. You know, don't settle for not feeling great. You can feel better. You need to take your health care into your own hands. You, you can take your health into your hands and you can really, I believe, get back to where you were and even stronger if you put your mind to it.